Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook ENT, and in today's video, we're working on XOR gates. Bam. All right, so XOR 101, sure. And also, if you notice, I have a new door. It's like a creeper face. It's tired of the old door. F you, old door. But yeah, this was requested by Minecraft Maker. He wanted to shout out. This is your shout out, buddy. Uh, check out his videos. He does cool stuff like uh, blow stuff up, and uh, he has a 10 by 2 sliding piston door. You ask why, and I ask why not. But yeah, awesome. XOR gates. All right, so normally I refer to them as a dual lever thingy. So to give a more technical explanation of it, it is basically a uh, multi-input kind of uh, you know circuit that the output is affected or affected one of the two uh, by only uh, one of the inputs. So in this case, all of these will be two input based. Uh, XOR gates can be more than two inputs. Uh, but yeah, in this case, two inputs. So this is the first one that I learned, and uh, this is the one that I used the most initially because I could understand it. Uh, so basically, all of these levers are on an off state. The torch is powered, so it is negating the power of these power torches, so the output is off. All right, you hit this. This now gets negated. This one also, but this one is active because nothing is happening. So if you want the same result as before, you hit the lever. Uh, or if you want a different result, just do the same thing. Those are already negated, this one and this one. You hit this lever, and now this one goes off, so the power is off. So yeah, pretty much, uh, you know, uh, it allows at least two inputs to act independently of each other when it comes to an output. Alright, awesome. So this is going to be like a showcase slash tutorial. I mean, it's pretty much a showcase, but um, yeah. Alright, so as before with the flip-flop, the blue blocks constitute as power blocks. Uh, if you want to make these flush with the wall, just run the repeater because you have to power the full block for them to actually have any kind of effect. Um, unless I tell you otherwise, because there's a couple that, you know, don't act that way. Alright, so uh, this one is very simple. Three blocks, lever, lever, dust, torch, torch. If you go down here, it's three. Let me in there. Let me in there. Three torches, then block, dust, dust, and uh, torch, and this is your output. This is the only one out of all the other ones, I think, except for maybe this one. Yeah, that need a repeater on the output. Either wise, uh, I mean, otherwise they're, they're needed, or it'll make it freak out and act all monostable-like, or, you know, just, yeah, just do what I'm doing here, people. All right, so this one is the one that I use the most. Um, it's probably the most compact, but in the sense of running the signal, like the input, like in a flush kind of basis, it, it involves more work. You can't really just throw a repeater here and then expect everything oops, to work. Uh, because the power, like here, affects both the dust and the torch. So to solve that, and this was actually um, done by Fix when he was helping me out with this one a while back, uh, is basically solve by putting a repeater into the power block and a repeater into the redstone dust here. Let's get rid of that for now because we don't need those. It'll mess with this one. But if you do uh, do need to run your input anywhere else, just do this. And, uh, you know, this is your uh, your input block now. Like so. Now, again, you can potentially run this anywhere. As long as it has enough signal to run, you know, with uh, that dust. And then you're good to go. Awesome. All right, so that one's fairly simple as you saw it. It is literally just uh, a torch, a lever on the input block there, the blue block, and then dust above the blocks that have the actual torch on them. And then that's it. <clears throat> All right, perfect. This is another very simple one. Let's put the redstone dust back in here. It is just your power blocks, redstone dust, a block here simply to break the line between these uh, redstone lines. Torch, 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 and your output. As you can tell, they act independently of each other. They're living their own life. They don't care what the other one is doing. This is almost a one wide one, but the output does have to go either from this side or this side. But look at it. Vast in its simplicity. Look at it. Uh, all right, so it's like an X shape. Sticky piston here. Redstone torch, torch. And uh, right here is redstone dust. This is your output. Now again, uh, you could potentially run, uh, let's put this through the back. Um, you can run some repeaters into these blocks and, you know, have the same uh, effect. And just, you know, make them flush with anything. Right here, this is like a circle, I guess. A donut, a square. 
All right, same thing. You know, these are your outputs. I mean, your inputs. Redstone dust, dust here. Repeater, repeater, torch, torch, dust, dust, and a couple more repeaters. And this is your output. Perfect. All right, this is technically a one wide. Uh, the output is all above. You know, this entire line. So if you want to make it officially one, it's like so. Um, that's it. Oops, you don't need to go there. All right, look at it. This is very, very simple, guys. Redstone um, dust, uh, three torches, and your output is uh, up top. That's it. Alright, this is like very redstone torch heavy. This is an older design, and honestly, I was running out of different XOR gates uh, for like 10 of them, which is what I was going for. But if you do love redstone torches, then this is the one for you. All it is is these are your input blocks. Dust, dust, torch, torch, torches on the same power blocks running up redstone torch more dust and you guys get it oh, it's a whole bunch of torches all right this is a one wide one now I'm going off of these inputs uh, from this side but you can go this way and then it's officially you know one wide now this one is also picky though um, very simple your input blocks redstone dust underneath them torch block Dust, repeater, repeater, output line all the way above it. Just like the other one, it can technically be anywhere. So we'll just throw it on here. All right, now the thing about this one, if you want to make this one flush with anything, um, the inputs are not about what's happening with the block itself. Let me show you. So this one's on now. This one will do absolutely nothing because it has nothing to do with the power block itself. It has to do with these torches. So you have to reverse the power on those torches. So in this case, we don't need repeaters because the repeater will power that entire block and the, um, you know, underneath. So all you need is actual redstone dust on these ones. As long as you're, like, negating the power of those torches, you're good to go. See? That's it. So one wide. Just keep that in mind. It's not about the block. It's, you know, it's unlike the other ones. It's just about what's happening with these two torches. Awesome. And this is more likely the most compact one. I guess the one that I was showing over there with the, you know, Fix helping me out is less resources and whatnot. But uh, to make it flush and everything, it takes a bit more work. Um, you gotta add like four more repeaters and so on. So to me, this one wins. And it's shorter. You know, just one high. Alright, so this one, uh, I will build this one. So this is officially a tutorial then, and no longer just a showcase. Bam. Alright, so these are your input blocks right here. You can have a redstone torch here, lever here, lever here, redstone dust here, repeater, repeater, a sticky piston here, <clears throat> and a block here. Has to be a solid block. And these are your outputs. Alright, so this one is fairly simple to understand, okay? So right here, the power is conducting through the repeater, through a solid block, and into the output line. You turn it off, fine. Alright, now when you hit this one, you see this one's already lit because the power's on. Um, you hit this, this will allow the piston to be powered, pushing a solid block through, allowing this signal to pass through onto the output line. And then that is it. That's it. This is um, XOR Gates 101. If you like the video, like it. Subscribe up top. And peace out.